Conducting market research is an essential step in identifying your target customers and understanding their needs. By conducting research, you can gain valuable insights that can help you develop effective marketing strategies and make better informed decisions about your product or service offerings. In this article, we will discuss the different types of research you can use to identify your target customers and some of the best practices for conducting effective research. First, it's important to understand that there are different types of research methods that you can use to identify your target customers. These methods can be broadly categorized as primary research and secondary research. Primary research is research that is conducted directly by the researcher, typically through surveys, interviews, and focus groups. This method is useful for obtaining detailed and specific information about your target customers and their needs. Secondary research, on the other hand, involves collecting data that has already been collected and published by other sources, such as government reports, industry publications, and online databases. This method is useful for obtaining an overall understanding of the market and identifying potential target segments. When conducting primary research, surveys are one of the most popular methods for collecting data from your target customers. Surveys can be conducted online or in person, and they can be designed to gather a wide range of information, including demographics, attitudes, behaviors, and purchase intent. It's important to ensure that the questions you include in your survey are relevant to your research and are not leading. To avoid bias it's important to pre-test the survey to validate its content and question structures. Interviews are another common primary research method that can be used to gather detailed information from individual customers. Interviews can be conducted in person or over the phone, and they can be designed to be open-ended or structured. When conducting interviews, it's important to prepare a list of questions that are relevant to your research, and to be flexible enough to follow up on any interesting responses. Focus groups are another type of primary research method that can be used to gather qualitative data from groups of customers. During a focus group, a moderator leads a discussion among a small group of customers to gather their opinions and insights on a specific topic. Focus groups are useful for gaining a better understanding of how customers feel about a particular product or service, and can be a good way to identify areas of improvement. Secondary research, on the other hand, is useful for obtaining a broader understanding of the market and identifying potential target segments. One of the best sources of secondary research is government reports, which can provide valuable information on demographic data, such as population, age, and income, as well as market trends and projections. Industry publications and online databases are also valuable sources of secondary research. Many industry associations and trade groups publish market research reports and other data that can provide insights into the size and growth of the market, as well as data on customer demographics and behaviors. There are also paid services such as market research firms and large data providers that can offer in-depth analysis on different aspects of the market and industry. However, these services are typically on a subscription basis and can be quite expensive. When conducting research, it's important to keep in mind that the goal is to understand your target customers and their needs. So it's important to be open to any insights that the research may uncover, even if they are different from what you expected. Additionally, it's also important to be ethical and legal, ensuring that the research is not invasive or violative of anyone's rights, and you should always get the informed consent of research participants. In conclusion, Conducting market research is an important step in identifying your target customers and understanding their needs. By using a combination of primary and secondary research, 